Hello and welcome everyone to SwitchRPG.com. This is Corey, aka RPG Reruns, and we are going to do a Let's Play today of Tangle Deep, a 16-bit RPG roguelite um, that has varying degrees of difficulty. Um, I'm going in pretty blind on this, um, but I love the aesthetics of it, um, and you know what? I love the music already at the just the main menu so we're gonna go into this blind and have a little bit of fun with this hopefully all right for untold generations my people have lived deep within the earth surrounded by the verdant subterranean forests sparkling waters and crystalline luminance we have a special connection to this world a bond with nature we call the touch some are born with an abundance of touch which fills them with a sense of adventure, an urge to explore the wilds beyond our home, all with the touch inherit the appearance of animals. And sometimes, when we fully experience the touch, we are drawn to Tangle Deep, an ever-changing labyrinth that leads upwards, upward to a world that no one has ever seen. I have never felt the touch, Unlike many others in my home of Riverstone Camp, yet, is there so, yet there is so much I want to learn about Tangle Deep. Today, I have decided I will go there. I will find my own answers. Alright. So, apparently we don't have the chutzpah or the mojo that everyone else has, and that's how we're going to start, our, start out our adventure. So, let's see what we have here. Select which game mode to play. This cannot be changed. <laughs> All caps. Once the game has started, changed. All right, heroic mode. If you reach zero HP, the game ends. Permadeath. Only faint goods, faint goods, and town progress will be saved. This is challenging, but it's also the, but also the intended way to experience Tangle Deep. Okay, so that's a, I guess that's your normal mode. Adventure mode. If you reach zero HP, you'll return to town. You will lose half of your money, unspent job points, and XP progress. Recommended for roguelike beginners, which I would consider myself, but you know what? We can't go with the easy mode. Hardcore mode. If you reach zero HP, the game ends permadeath. All traces of your adventure are permanently erased. Previous metadata on this slot will be erased upon restarting. Recommended for only seasoned players. Well, all right. So, uh, don't think we're gonna start with a hardcore mode. And uh, adventure mode, it's probably what I need to start on, but you know what? This is how it's intended to play. We're gonna play it. We're gonna go with heroic mode. What's the worst that can happen, right? All right, okay. Looks like we have a few different classes. Let's see, we have six, nine different classes and then nine more that um, you unlock later. But let's see what we have here. We have uh, Brigand, a dirty fighter that relies on subterfuge, high mobility, and striking enemy weak spots for massive damage. Difficulty easier. Tier one passive. Chance to inflict bleed with melee attacks, bonus stamina, swiftness, strength, and gal. Here two passive bonus. Your bleed effects last two extra turns and can be toggled to do poison damage. Here three passive bonus. Drop a firebomb every time you cloak and dagger or shadow step. Okay. That actually sounds kind of like a rogue class, which is one class that I kind of like. But we'll see what else we have here. I'll tell you right now, that guy, Spell Shaper, that, that just looks cool. We may do that just, just based on looks alone. I don't know. We'll see. Floromancer. Let's see. Wields the power of a very nature, summoning beasts, traps, and obstacles to control the battlefield. Well, that sounds kind of like a Geomancer. Well, yeah, Floromancer, I guess. There's a little play on words there. Difficulty easier. Tier 1 passive bonus. When you're... When you're summoned Florence, Floricana, Conada, Floricana, Flora Conda, Flora Conda, golly, he got, okay, I got, we'll, we'll, we'll get through this, dies, you recover HP, bonus energy, spirit, and discipline, your two passive bonus, your summoned Floricana gains more HP 
and constricts attack. And it, oh, constrict attack. Okay. Tier three passive bonus. Your summon Florconda gets even stronger and can be summoned and can summon thorn tiles around itself. That sounds pretty cool. Sword dancers and Nyx effortlessly carve through enemies with impeccable discipline, technique, and grace. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of things I don't really have, but difficulty is only average, so maybe they're just talking it up a little bit. Tier 1 passive. Each step may extend duration of flame, serpent, and ice towards bonus strength, guile, and spirit. Tier 2 passive bonus. Summon a small flame serpent every time you parry. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. Tier 3 passive bonus. Your parries reduce all cooldowns by one turn. That sounds like some pretty cool stuff there. Let's see what else we have. Paladin. Alright. A little sword and shield action. Noble knight that fights at close range. Smiting evil and calling upon divine magic. Tier 1 passive bonus. Block more damage with a shield. Bonus strength, spirit, and discipline. Tier 2. Blocking attack empowers your next smite evil or divine fury. Uh, tier 3, learn sanctuary, which prevents all damage for a brief time. That's... Buduka. Terrifying master of a secret deadly material art. Martial art. Excuse me. Different uh, uses, uses physical prowess to cripple and destroy enemies. Average difficulty. Tier 1, when unarmed, attack with left and right fists and deal extra damage. Bonus strength, sweetness, discipline. Tier 2, transforms your offhand punch into a more powerful kick attack. It's basically like your monk. Uh, tier 3, your chance to hit vital points is doubled. Okay, then we got a little archer, aka hunter. An eagle-eyed expert at dispatching enemies at range. Armed with an assortment of traps. Tier 1, no penalty for using a bow in melee. Uh, swiftness, guile, spirit. Tier 2, gain plus 10 CT when you land a shot with a ranged projectile weapon. Tier 3, summon a wolf companion that will lunge and bite at enemies. Okay. This guy. This is like your mage. Spell Shaper. A mad scientist of the magical arts combining elemental forces and bending them to their will. Difficulty average. Stamina is a tier one. Let me just start that. Tier one. Stamina power-ups also restore energy. Bonus stamina, energy, and spirit. Tier two. Decreases the cooldown of all evocations by one turn. Tier three. Learn unstable magic, which blast enemies with random elemental effects. That's pretty cool. All right. Edge Thane. A stalwart warrior who combines flow and song to infuse her power and overcome her enemies hard. I was wondering if we... I, I thought maybe these were all going to be the hard characters, but no, we've got our first charge. That looks like a little Braveheart action. 16-bit Braveheart coming at you. Tier one. Gain extra damage and defense when below 60 health. Bonus strength, swiftness, health. Tier 2. Your song songs last a maximum of 10 turns instead of 7 and gain intensity faster. Tier 3. If your health drops below 33% or lower, your cooldowns are instantly reset and occur every 20 turns. Sounds like we're turn-based here. Um, I don't even know what the battle system is. That's how blind we're going into this. Last one, Soul Keeper, a fierce conjurer that draws power from the echoes of fallen enemies, shadows, and spirits of the earth. Learn any Soul Keeper ability to begin collecting echoes. Our difficulty. Tier one, chance to find extra echoes when damaging monsters. Bonus spirits, swiftness, and energy. Tier two, passive bonuses, echoes drop, by monsters last for twice as long for disappearing. Tier three, you can hold up to eight echoes instead of just five. Okay, so we have some, we have some choices. I kind of want to go. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to go archer. 
Sword Dancer sounds pretty cool. Alden, I don't want to go Monk. Oh, we don't need to do the hard stuff. We need to, we need to. Okay, I think we're gonna go Spell Shaper. Cause it just looks cool. And he has some pretty cool stuff. I really like the tier three where he just blasts enemies with random elemental effects. Let's do it. Okay. Select two feats. These are permanent bonuses. All right, so we got mage. Let's see what we want. Quick step. Take an instant one square move before enemy reacts. Toughness. Start with extra HP and gain more each level. Fast learner. Gain extra drop points. This sounds good. Used to learn abilities. Yeah, yeah. Keen eyes. Examine enemies. Reveal more detailed info. info. Yeah. Yeah. Intimidating. Monsters are less aggressive towards you. That's probably something I need. Uh, thirst Quencher. Heal more when you use your flask. That's probably going to be important too. Entrepreneur. Find more money. Sell items and sell items for more profit. Food lover. All food tastes better and is more efficient. Scavenger. Find more and better loot. Okay, I think we're gonna go for, we're gonna do the job points. We wanna get all them skills. And then let's see here. Um, let's go with less aggression since we're a mage. I have a feeling that we're gonna be a little weak and we probably don't want them just to aggro us non-stop. Ooh, no, we don't need randoms. Optional, gain difficulty modifiers. Oh, whoa, 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 okay, this is pretty cool. Let's look at these. We're not gonna select anything, but uh, cool, okay. Uh, optional, if you want to change the core experience of Tingle Deep, you can enable game modifiers. All right, this is not the intended way to play Tingle Deep, and we recommend playing the non-modified game first. However, we understand that every player is different and making the game easier or harder might increase your fun. Okay, so they're just a bunch of different. Regenerate health, energy, all that stuff. We got the middle ones. Triple the number of Pandora boxes. No Pandora boxes, just a bunch of different stuff. Okay, okay. okay. Finish. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The name. All right, we're gonna do this. I've been doing this in pretty much all RPGs lately, past year. We're gonna name our mage Chub after Bradley Chubb. That's right. Oh no. There's a. Our awesome outside linebacker who is. A sack master. Oh wait, and I was... And I think it's just a funny name. Fun name. Four characters, Chubb. There we go. Alright. Chubb the spell shaper. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's do this. Always keep at least one rage weapon. Oh, missed that. It's taking a drink of water. My voice is still recovering. I was sick last week, but uh, we're going to make it. We're making it through this. All right, here we go. Um, Riverstone Camp. Use the left stick to select a direction for your movement. Press A to take a step on the grid in that direction. Back an enemy or break an object. Hold A to keep running in the direction you're facing. You can move the left stick while running to change direction. Right, we're gonna go with D-pad on this. Uh, uh, Alright, right, so here we go. Uh, I really like how just all this looks. I really love the mage's blue. I'm uh, not blue. I'm. I, I promise I'm not colorblind. Green flames. I think they look really cool. And how his books just on fire. All right, okay, so it looks like we got some quests over here. Let's talk to this tortoise guy real quick. Percy, I had a friend whose old girlfriend had a 
French bulldog named Percy. We go Percy. I can't do it right now. I can't get that high pitch right now. But anyway, um, yawn. Hello, dear child. Many blessings upon you. You and all the unshelled. <laughs> That's funny. Heal me. Change job. Oh, we can change jobs. Okay, we'll just we'll just leave everything alone from that. Okay. So this is W R Chip Chipperton the Third. Welcome to my bank. You pay me a reasonable market-based fee. I keep your gold and items safe and sound. A transaction that is benefiting. Okay, so basically, for all the stuff, and good things. Okay, it's this little thing. Ooh, I just picked something up. I don't know what that was. That's a little extra turn. Okay, the length of all my training. The depth of my research, this is a work that defines me. This world, the world is square, but there are endless angles inside. Today, I will be measured against the unknown. Picked up a simple codex. Equip, equip simple codex. So when you move up to guys, it just pre pretty much instantly does this. Okay, Nandu, welcome. I've got the finest foods, the smoothest moves. Want to buy something? Okay. We don't, we don't need to buy anything new just yet. Um, Aaron. Tangle Deep is... Tangle Deep has as many tails as leaves and branches. Legends stand tall like ancient trees, but they're grounded in winding roots and countless stories. Would you like to make some store... Oh, would you like to make some stories of your own? Okay. Well, let's see what she has to say. Here's one way to make a name for yourself. Try Bruise Cave Stalker. I have a challenge for you. Defeat two cave stalkers using the power of physical. You will need to land the finishing blow with the element. Cave stalkers can be found in many places, such as Cedar Caverns, second floor. Reward, 39 job points. Well, let's take it. But it has to be physical. Alright. You, you arrived. Yeah. Best day ever. You and me are going to get along so great. We are going to take such good care of each other. And you're climbing all the way to the top. The tippy top of Tangle Deep. See my loot? Swords and boots. Prepare yourself for any route. route. You can do it. You're so peppy. Yeah, you are very peppy. This is a family tradition. My sister and I just love adventurers like you, and we think you're the coolest and strongest and best. We keep our sho uh, shops chock full of spangles, sparkly, and that's hard to read with all the colors. Here we can find and sell them, sell it cheap. Power sold for a little gold to arm your heroes strong and bold. That's our family motto. All right. Take a look here. Look at what the store looks like. Okay, we got bandages. What does this use? It's nice. Uh, throw a 3x3 three three grid of spikes that bleed and slow monsters. Javelin. This dude going over here. Can't talk to him. Oh, nope, I didn't mean to do it. Let's see what's in this guy's store. Okay. Bag of grain, bananas, box of mints. For energy, energy, health, stamina. After eating this food, can't eat more food for 16 turns. Okay, okay. All right, let's just go out. Let's see, well, let's see what's What do we have? Current gear, just a codex. Let's see what this does. Item rank one. Reduce energy cost by five percent, ten percent spirit power. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Don't have any items. All right, here's our abilities. Let's be here. 
Spell shape line. All right. Stamina power ups to restore energy. Oh no, I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay, so oh, cost to learn. So I don't think. Oh, I did not mean to do that. But okay, we just learned it. What does it do? Two, two turns. Does not pull down turns. Does not take a turn. L will take the shape of a three by one rotatable line. Plus 15 stamina. Okay. All right. I hope we just learned some stuff. Hopefully it was the right stuff. Okay, so you have recipes, rumors. Okay, so that just has our first quest. Settings. All right, that's enough of that. Let's just go out. Let's go out into the world and see what we can do. Let's just explore. All right. Dude. Yes, uh. Ah, right, right. Hello, young heroine. Already a scamper about the forest, climbing trees and chasing down frogs. I hope you're careful out there, but I suppose to be, I suppose to be a true, to be true, I hope you're curious. Our world is a bubbling soup of mystery, and you and I simply, are simply flies doing awkward breaststrokes, drowning in a frothy ignorance. And yeah, okay. Weird sense. Uh, but perhaps you can change that. Find things, learn things, know things. Now return here with whatever riddles you cannot solve alone. There are secrets out there. Far out there. Okay. okay, so that's just your melee attack. Um... Okay, that's how I use spells. Okay, I don't want to use that right now. But okay, so use A to attack and then X to pull up your skills. Alright, let's see what this frog is doing up here. Looks like the perfect spot to plant a tree. Well, I guess you can find trees. Alright, we need to find that cave. Are you gonna miss? This here is my monster corral. I've got the magic touch. Rassle me a knockdown beastie and I'll tame him right up. I reckon I can wrangle up to 12 critters at a time. You monsters. You monsters. What's a monster corral? Oi, what is it? You wanna know about when it comes to taming them, raising them? Um, how do I capture a monster? Right. I'll keep this simple. First, buy a monster mallet, make them myself with a monster tame and touch. Next step, once you've got a beast down to less than 15% health, bam, right in the old noggin, and that's all. Go on and bring the sleepy little critter to me. Couple of rules though, don't try using hammers on champions, that just makes them angry. I can handle 12 monsters at once, keep it nice and cozy. Why would I capture monsters? Let's just go down the list. Why would I? Why would I capture a monster? Because I like having them around. You can give food to tame monsters to increase their happiness. Once they're happy enough, you can take them with you to Tangle Deep as your very own pet. They'll gain XP when you do, and even level up to become even stronger. Having a pet on by, uh, having a pet by your side can make the trials of Tangle Deep just a bit easier. You know, okay? Crazy. Well, you didn't just think I could just pop a critter in my lap and go off adventuring now, did you? You miss out on all the love and attention, your monster friends. Your monster friends. 
You can feed them all sorts of food. Every monster has their own taste. So try different foods, see what they like. Finding the right food will make them happier much quicker. For a small fee, I can groom your monster too. Make them look real pretty and happy too. So we need to get some gold, then buy a monster mallet. Okay. Okay, okay. Now we need to find this kid. Maybe over here. Maybe it's this. Oh yeah, there's a cave. Julia. Julia Julia. Today is a big day. Is the big day. I'm so excited for you. Have you spoken to Aaron at the ca campfire yet? She will give you rumors that will help guide your journey into Tingle Deep. You're even earned rewards by investigating. I heard some rumors myself, things I couldn't quite believe. What rumors have you heard? Everyone knows about the monsters and ruffians hanging out just ahead of the follies. But beyond that, everything is shrouded in mystery. People have brought back powerful ancient gear, and there are stories of ruined old cities, valleys made of fungus and metal that lives. If even half of that is true, well, you're in for some adventure, that's for sure. The greatest treasure of all is knowledge. What's up there? What's at the end? Is there even an end? There's so much we don't know about where we came from. Your heroism will help us all. Yes. Also, see, I don't know if you know my skills. I think you're giving me a little bit of, a little bit too much. Fred, there. Uh, would you like to play the two tutorial floors? Yes. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. Okay. Tingle Deep is turn-based, so monsters only move when you do. Okay, so take your time playing your next action. Alright, you didn't die. Energy, okay. Okay, this is int I don't like this. I'll tell you why I like this. Because I play some roguelikes and I don't have the quickest reflex and this lets me plan stuff out make it at my own pace so I like this what was all that? fire there's a banana okay how do I get to that banana though there we go okay so maybe I will have to use that was actually kind of tricky it's actually kind of a little tricky Okay. Using just a D-pad. Oh, was that in my inventory? Back, um... Yeah, it is. Okay, so I got some apples. The restores... Let's we'll save that for right now. It's like a little... Honey? Okay, here, need to pass time without moving? Open the ring menu bar and select wait one turn. Oh, okay. Okay, that's cool. yet treasure all right all right and so that takes us to the next level we got some more slimes this time let's use a okay, let's use a spell blast with molten fire that leaves a residue burns okay nice Oh, wow. 
burning. I wonder, I don't know if I need to face him though. I probably didn't need to take that extra hit. Probably could. I need to try that out next time. See if we can just... Okay, we got something shiny down here. That up. Okay. It's a good idea to return to town every so often to sell items, stock up on supplies, and check for new rumors. Use your escape portal, and you will warp back to town after a short delay. Okay, you can then take the return portal from the town to end up right back here. Okay, that's pretty cool. Like that. Eye patch? Eye patch? Well, let's use another spell. Oh, it's ranged. Okay, yeah, I don't need to face it. That's good. Energy. Right. on the edge. Okay, I'm going to go through the shiny thing and then maybe use a portal. Oh, flask. Let's see right now, she said that that, um, maybe I've already completed, what did I need to hit? I forgot what I needed to. Oh, wow, so you have like a little monsterpedia. Let's see here, um, Rumors, here we go. Um, Cedar Caverns, second floor. Okay, so that's not where I'm at. Probably because this is just for the... How much gold do I have? Okay, so I have enough to get the monster mount too. So that's good. Just explore a little bit more. Okay, we got something down there. Let's see what's in there. Another fountain. Dirty rat. Uh, let's just use a portal. See how that works. What? I don't think I. What did I just do? I don't think that's a portal. Um. Gains. Oh, I canceled it. I don't want to cancel it though. Okay, you just gotta move around and it does it. Okay, all right. That's pretty neat. Okay, heal me. Nice, okay. Now let's go by the monster mallet real quick. And go back to the dungeon. This is automatic. Yeah, it is, but let's see. The, um, let's see here. Um, let's go. Let's 
see anything. I guess I just tap it. Hmm. Alright, we'll, we'll just go back to the dungeon and see what happens. I'm sure if we actually do something else, say, say something will say that we captured an animal or whatever. Alright. Oh, those things expire. I thought I I saved that energy because I I thought that um let's go here. Their spell. Let's see what's the spell? Shadow invocation. Batters in, in, enemy with dark energy increases the effect of further shadow damage. We got some treasure too. Okay, you can even attack diagonal. Okay, that's cool. What did I get there? Job change scroll. Okay. I guess that's how you change your job class. Okay, water allows you more. Water allows you to more easily dodge range attacks and empowers lightning. Lava hurts you and can hurt most monsters. Mud can root you in place. Certain terrain may enhance or decrease elemental damage too. Check the ground before you move. Good to know. moving a little needlessly. About to level up too. Pretty neat. Got a treasure chest over here. Let's see a floral pentacle. Oh, that's what it does. It makes it to where it's all big and like, which I don't really need right now, but Alright, we leveled up. You have reached level 2 and all of your stats have grown. Select one below to give that stat an extra 3 boost. Strength, Witness, Spirit, Spirit, Power, Staff Damage, and Power Up Recovery. Uh, yeah, we want Spirit Damage. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and you gain all your HP and stuff when you level up. That's good to know. Boom, didn't even take- Oh, where did that rat come from? Floor. Look over here, make sure we didn't miss anything. Yeah, there's something right here. Gotta get that coinage. Okay. Entering the Follies. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's coughing. Um, okay, well, let me see what's in here. Ooh. Ooh. That's mud. 
Oh, we're in Seer Caverns. Okay. So we the next floor is where we do the uh, quest. All right. You found the side area. Side areas are marked with a treasure chest in the upper left next to the name area. Okay. Okay. Do that. Up in the left. Side areas can have extra rewards, challenges, and characters to meet. Once you're done here, go back the way you came from to return to the main dungeon path. Oh, lots of food in here. Okay, so this is an area that is for the side quest. But there should be some oh some loot. Lots of food here. Okay, well I guess when the chest is open, that's when you found it. Let me double check though. I don't wanna miss anything. Okay. I think we got everything. I think it's just to bulk up with a bunch of food. So now we go back and uh, actually let's eat some stuff. So it's like gradual over time too. That's good to know. All right, let's see. Um, so where's the second? We need to go to the second level of Cedar Caverns. Unless, let me just double check, make sure I haven't already completed. See your Kevin's floor, second floor. Hmm. All right, here we go. There it is. I'll just fight this one. Be a melee. Oh. Small mystery egg. Oh, well, that's all boots. just that. I wonder what this goal means. Oh! 
Oh, no. This? Let's eat something. It's like a weird trap, and I guess those are like saw things. Spinning saw things. Very technical. Witness. Critical hit. No damage. Spirit. Discipline. Let's see. Boost elemental defense. Buff duration. Pet health. Half damage. It's probably not a bad thing to. Oh, leave me alone. loot now. Maybe I need to go down a little. Hmm. Let's just see what happens if I go down. Oh, oh. I don't know what's going on here. What's all that noise? Sounds like something is making a ruckus in Riverstone Grove. That's where the monster corral is. I better check it out. Okay. Go check out monster corral. Do you wanna go? Yeah, there we go. Oh dear. Oh, you there. One of my critters escaped during the bath time, and I need to get him back into the corral. Lend me a hand, will you? Attack the beastie until it's 50% health or lower, and then grab the monster mallet and use it from your inventory. And knock the critter and bring him over to here. about the critter waking up either. That frog is proper, accurate, and won't move on its own. Harmless frog. Squashed via a mallet. Uh, where you going, mister? Knocked out BC, I'll tame him right up. Yeah, uh, brought, I brought him up. Oh, you can name him. Um, ready to name a beast. Uh, Froggy. Person. All right, 
right, everyone. I think I'm going to end this episode of the Let's Play for episode one of Tangle Deep. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't worry, we will have many more episodes to come. And um, if you like what you see, just uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, and also leave a like on the video. And leave down a comment down below if you're playing this. And if you're really enjoying the game, uh, let me know. Let me know if uh, there's something I missed or something that you'd like to see me do in the future. Anyway, hope y'all all have a great one, and then until next time, uh, keep on farming.